Hey my friends and family, whether you're watching it from YouTube or Facebook, welcome back. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Marceline. For those who are returning subscribers, I appreciate you guys for always coming back and for checking out my video. I appreciate the love and support that I'm getting from you guys. On today's menu, we're making some shrimp and crawfish etouffee. So the first thing we're going to start with is a shrimp. I already went ahead and de-vein and shell them. All right. And I also rinse it with some lime juice. Now I add half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of onion powder, and about three quarter tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. That's all I'm going to need right now. I'm just going to put this together, rub it up together, and then we're going to head over to the stove and we're going to saute them for about three minutes. I also kept my tails on. I like to keep it on because it just looks better in the plate when I'm presenting it. But you don't necessarily have to. All right, you can take everything off completely. So now I already have my pot on the stove heated. I am adding about half stick of butter in there. Allow it to melt and then we're gonna cook our shrimp for about three minutes. The shrimp doesn't take long to cook and we're gonna add it back in the pot. So three minutes is enough because we don't want it to be dry and rubbery. We want them to stay moist. So I already have my stove on high heat and I'm just going to allow these to braise in the butter. I'm just going to stir them around like we're making stir fry. Yeah, we don't want it to produce any form of liquid, so I'm not going to cover the pot. All right. So as soon as the shrimp is um, cooked, we're not going to cook it right through. We're just going to cook it for like three minutes, after which I'm going to remove them and then we're going to add the other half stick of butter all right so now i'm gonna allow that other half stick of butter to melt and we're gonna saute our veggies i have some red green and orange bell peppers i have some celery and i also have some white onion all right and just a little piece of scotch bonnet pepper to add a little spice all right so i am just going to saute these for about three minutes in the butter and then i'm gonna add my flour to make my roux for my roux i have three quarter cup of flour i am going to add that to the butter as soon as my veggies are sauteed but it all depends on the amount that you're making you could need more flour or less all right so i'm just going to push the veggies aside so that i can have a little butter to mix out the flour so i'm adding my flour here and i'm just going to mix that out and then we're going to continue stir frying all right you don't want the flour to burn but you don't want it to be raw as well you want to fry it a little bit in the butter to make the roux i'm just going to go ahead and stir fry this for about three minutes and you're also going to need some seafood stock you can go ahead and pick up a box of seafood stock at the store but i went ahead and i made my own i like to make my own stocks when i'm making certain things so i have some shrimp in there and the shells some of the shells from the shrimp i rinse it and i add it in there and i add some pepper and a pinch of chicken seasoning and we have a homemade stock that's it so here i'm adding two tablespoon of tomato sauce and some chopped tomatoes and i also added a half teaspoon of garlic your garlic all depending on you and how much you want i'm also adding my stock after adding the stock you can make sure that your stove is on medium heat you don't want to turn it up too much because remember you have your roux and you don't want that to stick in the bottom of the pot and burn you also want to constantly stir it all right so for added flavor i am going to add a teaspoon of my cajun seasoning i'm also going to add back the pepper that i had in the in the um seafood stock yeah i'm just gonna add back the pepper because you're gonna need some form of pepper sauce so i'm using the natural pepper i'm also adding a tablespoon of oyster sauce or you can use rochester sorry sauce <laughs> just let's just say double sauce so my etouffee sauce is starting to boil i'm adding my shrimp i'm also going to add my crawfish and we're going to allow this to we're going to stir this up so that it can absorb this delicious sauce all right i am also going to add about half cup of water because as you can see this is a little thick so you want to thin it down a little bit and i'm also going to add some bay leaf to add some extra flavor in there here i'm adding back my peppers from the seafood stock and 
I am going to add some green onions. So now at this point, we're going to stir it up and cover it down and leave it on medium heat and allow it to cook down for another three minutes. And yeah, you can test the sauce now to see if it has your desired thickness. Some people like it really runny. I like it semi thick. All right. So I don't like it too runny and I don't want it too thick. So right there in between. So I made some white rice to go with this. I'm going to put everything on a plate to present to you guys. I also made some curry shrimp. And my husband was like, when he was eating his dinner, he was like, Babe, I can't even tell you which one tastes better. Between the curry shrimp and the etouffee, they are both so delicious. So guys, you have to try this dish, whether for Valentine's, date night, whatever. Just a special occasion or just a regular dinner night. You, you, you got to try this, all right? It's, it's something that you would definitely love if you've never had it before. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next one. Enjoy the rest of your week and stay safe.